This is a new video about EPVR MPPT charger. I have 1540 ampere hours battery pack here. I just put my inverter on with the fridge. So I I do have some some load and uh, this is the morning sun, so the sun just came and there is no clouds, there is line of sight to the panel and uh, we have this issue again, 14.4 volts on the panel voltage, so 2.3 amperes from solar panel 2.5 amperes to the battery and this is wrong it should be 30 volts so watch closely when I shoot down the breaker of the solar panel and put it back on it will reset the MPPT tracking I hope this load is enough because I will shut it down now. The breaker is off, the panels will go to zero and putting it back on like that. And now we need to wait a long time, like a couple minutes. I will pause the video. Just to see the clock, it's 9.16, it has been a couple minutes on, and uh, I need to put more load, and it is already 3 amperes, it's still tracking, it's rising, let's wait a bit more. Okay, it's now 4 amperes, let's wait more, it's still tracking. Point is, it is taking now almost 2 amps and it's putting out 4.2. It's twice more than a few minutes ago before I put the breaker off. This is the issue what I have. The tracking goes under volt of 30 volts and uh, it will give a lot less power to the battery let's wait a bit more the time is now 9 19. we have now two amperes coming from the solar panel and it is almost the same what we started but the difference is the voltage the voltage was 14 volts and now it's 31 volts this is what I'm meaning. I really hope the people understand what I'm talking about. Now it, it is working how it's supposed to work. If if I leave this this way, it will work until clouds came and it, this voltage will go down again and uh, the source and bridge will go again down. It's still rising. Well, I hope I understand. I'm not going to mes measure it with the matter because the, the volt matter on this is about right. So almost 5 amperes versus 2 amperes. My load is now about 9, nine amperes. I waited a bit more, let's see the clock, and now it's 6 amperes, so here you are, tracking is working as supposed to now, 6 amperes versus 2 amperes, and we needed to wait like 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes, 
6.2 amperes. Okay, thanks for watching again.